Good morning everyone. I hope you are doing well today. I pray that you are in good health. I pray that the Lord will continue to be with you and to be with your families. May he continue to bless your home, to bless your jobs, to bless everything that belongs to you, that he has given unto you. I pray that you will continue to allow him to lead you and may you walk continually in his favor and in his goodness. The Lord loves you and the Lord say that he has nothing but good intentions and good plans towards you and so allow him to work in your life and allow him to pour out his blessings upon you. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 4 reading verses 1 to 10 and it reads then jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil and verse 2 says and when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights he was afterward and hungered Verse 3 said, And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command these stones to be made bread. 4 says, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. 5. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and seated him on a pinnacle of the temple. Hmm. What is he up to? Eh? Verse 6 says, And said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, Cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Verse 7 says, Jesus said unto him, It is written, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. 8. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceedingly high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. Verse 9 says, And said unto him, All these things, will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. In verse 10 and last says, Then Jesus said unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. And I say, Amen. Amen. God alone deserves worship. No man, not the devil, not our houses, not our cars, not our jobs, nothing except God deserve our worship. And so, as we seek to walk in the way of the Lord, may we not allow ourselves to be distracted by the enemy. You see, the devil is so brave. He was willing to tempt Jesus to see, that he, see if he could get Jesus to sin. Are to fall right 
he went to Jesus and offering Jesus all these opportunities all these gifts and the interesting thing about it is that whatever he is offering to God belongs to him already so how you are going to take somebody gift and give it to them is their gift but he's not thinking of that all he's thinking about is that he needs to get Jesus to to fall and if he can get Jesus to fall then it's over and done and he win and it's doomed for us right he went and he tell Jesus look here you're hungry I mean and after 40 days of fasting anybody would be hungry right and he went the first thing he tempt Jesus with food and that is why some of us we have to be careful and let me not even say some all of us need to be careful right that we don't get carried away by our appetite right he went on to tempt Jesus what show he show him the kingdom of this world and say that what look here I can give you all these things if you just worship me right I can make you a king I can make you rich or better yet why I, I why why not just jump off the top of this building and I know that your the angels will catch you or catch you right all of these temptation right he brought to Jesus and what did Jesus use to repel them each time? He used the word of God. And that is what we have to do. Because remember, the devil knows scripture. So he, we cannot go to the devil and don't know scripture. And not just know scripture. We have to go in the name of the Lord. Is the dev, if, the, if we do not do that, then the devil is going to make a mockery out of us right don't keep our eyes on the things of the world yeah you you need things you want to succeed in life you want to excel you want to be able to buy your home to buy a car to, to get your children this and to make sure that your children are well off much better than you were right but it shouldn't be at the cost of your own soul it shouldn't be at such a price and so the bible tells us in matthew it says that we are to seek ye first the kingdom of god and then god will bless us accordingly according to his will and so don't be tempted by the things of the world don't allow the devil to to sway you to to make bad choices just so that you can get by because i guarantee you if you fall for his trap you will regret it later right and there's a there, there, there's a, there's a there's a colloquial term that we normally use if me did know but at that time it might just be too late and so friends let us stick close to jesus who is able to help us to overcome all of these temptation that the devil will throw at us because the, he overcome we can also overcome in him. May God continue to bless you and may God continue to strengthen you and give you the power to overcome and to remain faithful until he comes. God bless you.